maintenance and inspections. In this video we will be reviewing activity logs, how to open them, and view all of the collected data from Link2 modules that are installed in each vehicle that you're monitoring. As a reminder, the center of the screen is representing the vehicle dashboard shows a list of vehicles that are currently being monitored with Link2 modules installed and uploading information to link2dashboard.com. If you would like to go look at individual runs or individual activity events for each vehicle and follow every run step by step, you can bring up activity logs for a vehicle and view this information easily. Simply press the activity logs button on the main vehicle dashboard and you are presented with a selection choice for the activity logs. You can select by last 24 hours, last week, last month, last year, or a custom span of information. So let's, in this example, let's say I want, let's view all the runs for the last month. So you select your time frame, and in the drop down here for vehicle, you select what vehicle you want to view this information from. And you can select any vehicle you're currently monitoring. So let's select this one for example. What is shown here below is a list of every vehicle entry or every activity log for that vehicle over the past month. We can then go ahead and filter that by last week or last 24 hours and you see the list gets significantly shorter based on our filtering. So if we go back to last month, what you're presented is in this column is the view column. This is where you can view specific information about this activity that occurred, this event log that occurred, and we'll cover that in just a second. The second column is a date, which gets a date and a timestamp of when this activity log was uploaded to link2dashboard.com from your Link2 module. The Link2 column lists the vehicle name. So for this example, it's 3517. If we were to select another vehicle or another Link2 unit that we're monitoring, it would be displayed here in the name. You can, if these were part of groups, you can filter this by groups. The session ID, which is a unique number assigned to each individual activity log that's entered into link2dashboard.com. And it's sequential, so it just keeps going up and up and up and it'll keep going. And then finally, this column here for emergency run. Now what's shown here in this example is a classification of a non-emergency run. The way Link2 Dashboard classifies this is a non-emergency run is different from an emergency in the sense of if it was an emergency run, this box here would be highlighted in bright red and it would say emergency. And the link2dashboard.com website identifies this and differentiates this based on two factors. Number one, it looks for was the e-master switch turned on and did the vehicle go above 15 miles per hour for each of these entries into the activity log. If the answer, if Link2 sees both of those as true, e-master turned on, vehicle over 15 miles per hour, this column here will be in bright red under emergency. These entries on this example are non-emergency runs. At the bottom of this dialog, you can see a number of different pages that are loaded that you can then go ahead and search and navigate through and basically go through all of the entries for that past month. So you can click this to expand. You can go to the end of the, the listing. Over on the right here, it'll show you what page number you're on out of how many. So there's 16 of these pages. And the number and amount of activity logs that are stored on the Link2 servers is infinite. So you can always find your activity information quickly and easily. So let's go back to the first page. And I mentioned earlier about the view column. If you want to view specific information and get a play-by-play -play of what happened on this run, simply press the View button. You are then presented with an, an expanded view of the activity log that shows date and timestamps of every event that Link2 was listening for and recording from the time the ignition, ignition turned on to the time the ignition turned off and the upload occurred via the wireless connection to link2dashboard.com. To see individual information on these entries, simply expand the dropdown, or you have the choice of saying expand all to expand the entire list. And once that's done, the activity session started will indicate that this was a new event, so the engine was turned on and the date that it occurred. 
and then you can follow along essentially on a play-by-play -play of the activity. So power status on, engine was started, emergency warning switch turned on, turned off, transmission gear reverse, transmission neutral. This activity log most likely represents an early morning check. So this tool is fantastic for assisting with remote diagnostics of vehicles, diagnosing operational issues. If you had diagnostic codes or diagnostic messages that were thrown or shown here, you could easily and quickly identify those and make decisions based off of that information. If you'd like to print the activity log and store it for including the vehicle reason. name and the date of the entry. Down the middle column, you will see a play-by-play -play of all the parameters Link2 is listening for recording and uploaded to link2dashboard.com, their date and time, and the information that corresponds to the parameter that Link2 listened for. You then can go print to paper or print to a PDF of your choosing. The final session of activity information is what is known as activity graphs. If we come back into our vehicle dashboard, the button next to activity logs is activity graphs. If we were to press this button, we are presented with a dialog similar to the activity log session, which allows you to look at information on the last 24 hours, the last week, last month, last year, or some custom span. So if we select last month, for example, and select the vehicle we'd wish to monitor, let's use our same vehicle. Once this information populates here, underneath, just like activity logs, you're presented again with a column that says start time, so it'll give you the entry date of the activity the end time, and the vehicle that it's assigned to. So whichever vehicle name your link to module is installed in. And again, you can look at a number of different pages along the bottom. And this is page one of 15 pages of entries for this specific link to module. To view the chart data, simply press the view button similar to the activity logs. This will bring up what is known as activity chart data. And here you can select start times based on days, and time of the day and end times based on what day and what time you want to chart. You can select things like speed, RPMs, throttle position, master warning switch, ABS warnings, or some custom commands. So let's select speed and RPMs for example and simply press chart data. You were then presented with a visual representation of some of the activity log information that was previously shown but in a much easy to use in graphical representation. You can then use your mouse to then zoom in or zoom out very quickly and easily. You can reset zoom. If you want to zoom in on here and get something more granular detail, you can see speed is charted here on the left and RPMs is on the right. And this will dynamically update based on the selections you choose. So again, we can reset zoom. And it's a nice graphical way to represent some of the, the information being captured inside the activity log. For more information about Link2, please visit acrobrass.com backslash Link2. And thank you for watching this video. <laughs>